The week began with great promise in Natchitoches, Louisiana, but ended with heartbreak in Huntsville. Hi everybody, I'm Greg Kerr along with Lamar head basketball coach Tick Price. You're watching the Lamar Basketball Show. Coach, I guess you, you look back on that and you got to take the good with the bad, right? Yeah, it's always bad and sometimes good. Uh, when you're in a conference race, there are going to be ups and downs, of course, uh, ebbs and flow. And you just have to be able to respond every time you hit the court and focus for 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to Nagadish, Louisiana, home of the Northwestern Demons, <laughs> and we needed to find out if we're going to stick a fork in them or not, and we actually we did. But they've got a good basketball team. A couple young guys uh, that's freshmen that got promising careers. Uh, they're very dangerous because they needed a win. And uh, I thought our guys went in and took them a little bit light, lighter than we should have. Mm -hmm. But we ended up pulling it out, and that's, that's most important. And we'll get to Sam Houston in just a little bit. Let's go now to uh, Prather Coliseum. It's a tough place to play, but Lamar yeah. has now beaten the Demons four straight times, and that hasn't happened, Coach, in 15 years. So your team got off to a little bit of a slow start, but you're able to rally back and pretty much control this game. Yeah, well, we had... Uh, Good play from Colton Weisbrough. He gave us a double-double, 25 and 10. Um, I think James uh, did a good job. I think he had 18 points. Mm -hmm. uh, but defensively, I still think that we've got to get better, um, especially in conference play. You've got to play stop defense, and you can't afford to give teams second shots or second opportunities. And so uh, we've got to do a much better job in making sure that we consistently uh, hold teams in the 30 percentile. Coach, were you getting uh, shots you wanted in this one? It, you know, you're seeing a lot of some dunks and uh, breaks and uh, avenues to the basket. Were you satisfied with your, with your team offensively? Well, I thought our defense on occasions provided us a uh, high percentage shots on our offense. We were able to close some traps and get in rotation, shoot the gap and get steals on our way from layups and dunks. And then our inside play uh, was, was good. Uh, I thought uh, we did a pretty good job uh, going inside out. There's James, again, knocking down some shots. Uh, Seems I think like he's really kind of shooting the ball a lot better here lately. Yeah, he is. Uh, he's building a lot more confidence. As Carlton Wise brought with a nice spin cycle move. Uh, but um, I think we've got to con continually to do those things. Uh, George Frenchwood uh, had a nice penetrating move. We, we ran our press offense and then had a run out again with a long, nice pass uh, from Colton uh, to Josh and Zecor. Uh, those are the type of things. Execution is everything for us, and uh, we were able to do a pretty good job doing, going down the stretch, but we've got to be more consistent. And there's your final score. Lamar opens the road trip with a big win over Northwestern, 79-75. Colton Weisbrot led the way with 25 points, 17 in the second half. He also grabbed 10 rebounds. LU forced 18 turnovers, leading to 26 points, Coach. Anytime that happens, you have a great chance to win. Lamar improved yeah. to seven and five in the Southland with that win. You talk about the turnovers to point ratio. Mm -hmm. That was uh, certainly in your favor. That's yeah, it, it was. Uh, I thought that uh, our traps, we said set our traps where we squeeze the life out of our opponent. <laughs> I know that right. sounds a little <laughs> bit harsh, but uh, we, we've got to close those traps. And more importantly, we, uh, rotate. we've got to rotate read by the language and run through balls. We were able, we got a good effort in doing that over in Natchitoches. Yep. Well, Coach and I are huge college basketball trivia buffs. That's true, yeah. right? Yep. We, love, we love the game. Yeah. So here's the Howell Furniture trivia question. This week's question, all about wins. Coach, in what season did Lamar win its most games and how many? A hint, they lost their season opener that season to Wichita State, the Shakas. Or the Wheat Shocker, as they used to be known back then. Yeah, I remember that. They had uh, the car guy, Livingston. Antoine Carr. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He That's led the nation, team. I think, in rebounds and yes, points he did. that year. Yes, he did. Yeah, how about that? See, we go way Played back. in the NBA for a while. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Got a decent NBA career. Yeah. We'll get to the answer coming up uh, at the end of the show. And before we go to break, let's go to our Kenzel Toyota social media question of the week. Which player on your team has the best chance to move on to the next level? This is from Jackie Phillips uh, through Facebook. Well, I don't like to even talk about who can do what. I'd leave it up to the uh, pronos pronosticators. Um, I think most scouts look at what their needs are and they go from there. Um, I think they look for guys who's versatile, that can play a couple positions, and then they look at guys with a, 
uh, high ceiling guys with potential to be very good. Uh, and so that's what scouts are looking for. Um, I can't pinpoint any player until they uh, finish the season. I start getting letters and phone calls about you know, each guy. Uh, but we certainly try to help guys get notoriety uh, through our media relations mm -hmm. department. James Dixon, we compile a lot of information, numbers. And then he's got to have a promising career, but also help Lamar win. Uh, that's a huge thing with most people. Can, uh, can you help your team win games? And uh, they look for that and all the intangibles um, that's included in, in terms of having uh, the versatility to be very good. And what's the reality of that? One in, what, 2,500 college basketball players yeah. didn't get a chance yeah. to sniff the NBA? Yeah. I mean, the, 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 uh, the odds are astronomical, really. Well, they said the chances of you being professional uh, and maybe in your curriculum uh, mm -hmm. is probably much greater than playing professional basketball. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay, w next up, we'll unveil our Cardinal Player of the Week, and Coach will break down the Lamar setback at Sam Houston when we come back. Lamar University Basketball with Coach Tip Price. Brought to you by Provost Humphrey Law Firm, ExxonMobil, Kenzel Toyota, Hal Furniture, Bob Wortham, Raymond James Financial, and Susan and Roger McCurry. This is electricity. This is a power plant. This is Tim Barkholz. That's me. This is something he's researching at ExxonMobil, using fuel cells to capture carbon emissions at power plants. This is the potential. Reducing CO2 emissions by up to 90%, while also producing more power. This could be big. Energy lives here. Provost Humphrey has spent over 45 years fighting for those suffering from diseases caused by benzene and related chemicals. Today, we continue those efforts by representing workers in the oil, maritime, and shipping industries. Companies have known for decades that benzene exposure can cause leukemia, myelodysplastic syndrome, and other blood cancers. Our firm has the assets, resources, and knowledge to stand head-to-head -head with industry and get you answers and the justice you deserve. Provost Humphrey. Hard-working lawyers for hard-working people. Hat maker Vincent Brimble prospered in the town of Haddington. Never flashy, he only made the classic bowler. Then suddenly the day's trend became preposterously tall. His Raymond James financial advisor reminded him that focusing on the long term is always fashionable. The fad was indeed a passing one. His patience paid off, allowing him to one day hang up his hat with confidence. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James advisor can do for you. Hi, I'm Susan McCurry. I'm Roger McCurry. And, and we, we love, love our Lamar Cardinals. Cardinals. Show your support for the team this season. Come join the fun and find out what a great team we have. Lamar basketball is the best ticket in town and the LU spirit is fantastic. Go, Go Cards! He's a winning basketball coach. She's a winning business owner. Glad to have you on board. How Furniture is excited to be a sponsor for Lamar Basketball. Together they form a winning team. Lamar Men's Basketball and Howell Furniture. Two great teams now together. We work together as a team. And so do we. We have layups. And so do we. We help our community. And so do we. Howell Furniture is a proud sponsor of Lamar Basketball. Go, Go Cards! Cards. We are back with the Lamar Cardinal Basketball Show with head coach Tick Price. We found out Lamar and Sam Houston play exciting basketball games. LU wins here in double overtime. The Bearcats steal one in the final seconds in Huntsville. Coach, uh, knowing you as well as I know you, this must really have stuck in your craw the way this game ended. Yeah, it, it, uh, it was a tough loss. Um, we felt like uh, that was one we let get away. Uh, we had a couple of turnovers. Um, my last two possessions. Uh, but we missed a lot of shots around the, the basket early on. Um, we missed a couple layups. Uh, we didn't make the stops the way we should have defensively. And we still had a chance to win the basketball game. Uh, they're a very physical basketball team. And uh, I thought for the most part we overcame that part. We just didn't uh, close the deal the way we should have. 
And you look at Sam Houston State, and this is a team with a good record in conference, you know, and that's another game that could have gone either way. Yeah. But it shows you also that this team, your team, can play with the upper echelon in the league. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, we can beat any team mm -hmm. in the league, but we also can lose to any team in the league. Uh, we're, the all, we're that close to turning the corner. Um, I think what this team has shown, though, is the ability to bounce back. We've been able to do that uh, for the most part all year long. And so with that being said, uh, you know, it, it's taken a lot for our kids to, to show that resiliency uh, game in and game out. Uh, every team has taken their best shot at Lamar this year. Uh, we have uh, shown that uh, we'll battle, uh, we'll fight. Uh, we've got to continue to be consistent in our fight. And um, instead of fighting like this is a pillar fight, we got to fight like this is a heavyweight fight every game. Yeah. And you know, Sam Houston came out remembering what happened in Beaumont. Oh, yeah. And they lost by uh, you know, double overtime, so that was a little bit of motivation for them. And plus the fact that, uh, you know, you're, you're a team that's fighting for the Southland Conference Tournament to get yeah. in. Yeah. And uh, Sam Houston... It's also a team that uh, has been able to win some games, so they're in pretty good position right now, but it's just a battle. Yeah, it is a battle. Um, it's, it's not a sh you're not shadow boxing when you're playing them. It's, mm -hmm. You're putting on gloves, and you have to uh, definitely have uh, uh, a mindset to, to throw that knockout punch. It's a long haul. We've got games to, to play. We've got to finish that. Uh, and Z-Core uh, is a nice up and under move, yeah. uh, but we've got to continue to um, And how do they grind. not call that right there, a guy going over the top? And Coach, I see what you're talking about, the physical play, just oh, by yeah. watching this. Yeah. There was nothing easy for your team that night, and that's, uh, you know, players, you know, the Bearcats flying all over the place and bodying up, and yeah, you're right. Yeah. And especially in z -Corp played tough that night, too. Yeah, well, that's life on the road. You, yeah. you, you know, when you play on the road, you go in with a mindset, you're down 10 right off the bat. Uh, you got to fight, and scratch, and claw, and peck them, but that's a nice um, quick hitter in our press offense. Um, Celtics we, used to run that all the yeah, time. Yeah, we did. Out. That's yep. kind of who we stole it from. <laughs> Don't <laughs> okay. tell anybody. I remember it from years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's an old play that still works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, here's your final. Sam Houston rallies to win at 71-69. Josh and Zekor led the way for Lamar with 23 points. 19 in the second half, Coach. He was 9 of 11 from the field. And really watching some of that video, he showed some really good moves down on the post. Nick Garth scored 17. Lamar falls to 7 and 6 in conference. So you're still above water in conference right now at 7 and 6. And yeah. still in the hunt for, that, yeah. uh, for those top eight positions. Yeah, well, we've got to make sure that uh, these home games we've got to take care of. And Mm -hmm. Obviously, we need to go on the road and show some toughness and, and get a couple on the road as well. We need to finish this season strong, put us in the tournament. We know once we get in the tournament, anything can happen. Yeah, and you'll finish the season with three games on the road, Yeah, right? So right. But we'll talk about that later. Time again to name this week's Provost Dumfries Player of the Week and the Southland Conference Player of the Week. That didn't happen this week, but we do go with our Provost Humphrey. And, of course, we've been down this road a few times this season. Colton Weisbrod wins the honor once again. He was brilliant on the road at Northwestern. Weisbrod goes for 25-17 and 17 in the win over the Demons. At Sam Houston, Colton only scored five. He grabbed nine rebounds and added four assists. Colton Weisbrod, our Provost Humphrey Player of the Week. And we talked about the standings. Here's a chance mm -hmm. to look at the standings now. And once again, Nichols on top at this point at 10-2. and two. So the Colonel's being chased by a, a gackle of teams yeah. right behind their coach. Yeah. Well, it's a log jam, that's for sure. Um, I think there are some teams that might, that may be at the top might fall, and there may be some teams that's in the seventh and eighth place area that can move up. You just got to keep winning and not hope some other team helps you at the end. Um, there's some real parity in this conference. You got to come to play. Yeah. Uh, anybody can, can win a game on any given night. Uh, you can't take anybody lightly. Uh, but the, every team that might have beaten us that may be up a little bit, we've had an opportunity to beat them or could beat them, but we beat ourselves on a couple of occasions. Yeah, so at this point, you guys and Abilene Christian are tied for that seventh and eighth position. So right now it's about seeding and trying yeah. to move on up the ladder. A bit, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, next on the Lamar Basketball Show with Tick Price, we'll visit with Lamar freshman Jordan Foster.
I'm Bob Wortham, your district attorney and a Lamar graduate. Basketball and law enforcement have a lot in common. To have a winning basketball program, all players must work together. To have a safe and successful community, all citizens must work with law enforcement. If you witness a crime, report your facts immediately. If you receive a jury summons, don't look for a way out. Take the opportunity to serve. Let your voice be heard. Let's all work together for a safe Jefferson County. Hey, Lamar basketball fans. How would you like a free car wash? When the Cardinals win this week, you also win. Bring your ticket stub from a winning game to Kinsel Toyota before the Cardinals next home game and receive a free car wash. When the Cardinals win this week, you win a free car wash from Kinsel Toyota, a proud supporter of Lamar basketball. Kinsel Toyota and Lamar basketball, a winning combination. Let's go Cardinals. Two powerful teams are now one. Lamar Men's Basketball and Howell Furniture, a winning combination. Howell Furniture is a proud sponsor of Lamar University Basketball with Coach Tick Price. Go Cards! We have a couple of freshmen with us for the show. We'll see how they perform under the lights. First up's Jordan Foster. All right, you're the lucky guy, the first freshman <laughs> right out of the blocks, Jordan, to go on air with us. Yes, sir. Uh, thanks for being here. Appreciate oh, it. Oh, any, any time. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about growing up in uh, Lafayette, Louisiana. Not Lafayette, right? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. great, right? Well, I mean, growing up really was, uh, they had a lot of experiences, good ones and bad ones, but those were experiences that made me who I am today, really. Growing up with siblings, my brothers, older brothers, older sisters, and younger brothers. It was uh, quite a quite. It was really just learning, really, from everyone. Learning from younger brothers' mistakes, learning from older brothers, and just having fun as well. Yeah. So I mean, it made me who I am today. Right. That that sounds. That's a very <laughs> honest answer. I think yeah. it's a great answer. Yeah. Um, high school basketball in Lafayette, and you had some interest from Xavier and from Southern Miss. Was Lamar, the proximity to your home in Louisiana, was that a decision maker as far as you were concerned? Or uh, yes, it was part of the reason, just not wanting to be too far away from family, my mother, really. <laughs> yeah. uh, and Lamar, it really showed a, a true interest in me and my betterment, not only just basketball, but just as an individual to go to the next level, whether it be professionally, career, basketball, you know, school, whatever. Tell us about your major. What have you decided to major in? You're only a freshman, but you know the best thing about freshmen? They become sophomores. <laughs> I know you've heard that from Coach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I plan to be an electrical engineer, really. Uh, oh. And I've been taking engineering classes, me and Avery as well. So, I mean, it's, just, it's been a grind together for us both to finish it, see it through. So. How about the transition to the basketball court going from high school to college? Has it been different than you thought it might be? Uh, I mean, it wasn't different from what I thought I was, but I still wasn't ready for it, really. Uh, but it, I can't, the, the push really is what made me grow up, I guess you can say. It made me realize that basketball is more mental than you think. Mm -hmm. So it was something that I'm really glad that happened. Okay, excellent job and do uh, appreciate you joining us. And I've enjoyed actually watching you run up and down the floor. It's been, <laughs> it's been interesting to see the freshmen kind of evolve a little yeah. bit this season. You've gone from not knowing a whole lot about college basketball now to where you can give Coach a few good minutes out on the floor, right? Yes, sir. All right, That's keep up the good work. Thank you. All right, appreciate it. When we come back, we'll chat with Lamar freshman Avery Sullivan about his college experience and more. You're watching the Lamar Cardinal Basketball Show with head coach Tick Price. Hat maker Vincent Brimble prospered in the town of Haddington. Never flashy, he only made the classic bowler. Then suddenly the day's trend became preposterously tall. His Raymond James financial advisor reminded him that focusing on the long term is always fashionable. The fad was indeed a passing one. His patience paid off, allowing him to one day hang up his hat with confidence. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James advisor can do for you. I'm Susan McCurry. I'm Roger McCurry. And, and we, we love, love our Lamar Cardinals. Cardinals. 
Show your support for the team this season. Come join the fun and find out what a great team we have. Lamar basketball is the best ticket in town, and the LU spirit is fantastic. Go, Go Cards! Cards. He's a winning basketball coach. She's a winning business owner. Glad to have you on board. How Furniture is excited to be a sponsor for Lamar Basketball. Together they form a winning team. Lamar Men's Basketball and Howell Furniture. Two great teams now together. We work together as a team. And so do we. We have layups. And so do we. We help our community. And so do we. Howell Furniture is a proud sponsor of Lamar Basketball. Go Cards! Hey, Lamar basketball fans, how would you like a free car wash? When the Cardinals win this week, you also win. Bring your ticket stub from a winning game to Kinsel Toyota before the Cardinals' next home game and receive a free car wash. When the Cardinals win this week, you win a free car wash from Kinsel Toyota, a proud supporter of Lamar basketball. Kinsel Toyota and Lamar basketball, a winning combination. Let's go Cardinals. We are sticking with our all-freshman team here on the Tick Prize Show. Avery Sullivan, the 6'8 freshman out of Pflugerville, joins us now. Thanks, Avery, for being with us. No problem. Anytime. So what has been your impression so far of uh, coming out of high school in the Austin area and coming to uh, Beaumont and Lamar over the last few months? It's really a transition change. Like, life out there in Austin and out here is different. <laughs> it's more of like a Houston lifestyle out here, and I haven't been to Houston much in my life. But I, I like it out here. It's a nice city, great to like find yourself and go to college. What has been your transition like uh, over uh, the last few months basketball wise? Have you, have you learned a lot more? Has college basketball been more difficult than you thought it might be? Uh, I wouldn't say it was more difficult. I knew it was going to be a challenge just coming from high school and being a freshman. But like as Jordan was saying, it's a really mental. Like you just have to see everything through and just know you can do it no matter what happens. Have you guys had to do anything that uh, freshmen are, have been known to do, maybe like carry luggage or anything like that? Any of the upperclassmen <laughs> been, uh, been kind of uh, dogging you guys at all? Anything you share with us? Uh, every time we go to the airport, we got to carry the bags. I mean, uh -huh. every freshman does it, so we just do it. I mean, there's nothing to do about it. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. Now, you're also a um, engineering major. Yes, sir. What, what particular field are you looking at? Electrical at? also. Okay. So what does that mean when you talk about electrical engineering? Uh, it's with like circuits and a lot of physics and calculus and just like making stuff like kind of like lights, making it come together and connecting wires and making everything like routers run together and everything. Maybe dating myself here or something, but is it like an erector set where you're kind of, you're, that's what you like to do is build and put things together? Is that something you've always liked? Yeah, I mean, and that's where a lot of money is, you know, yeah, basketball so yeah, doesn't work bottom out. bottom line, right? <laughs> <laughs> basketball doesn't work out, I'd like to have money in life, so engineering is the way to go to me. Well, you're also all district academic in high school, too, so it yes, shows sir. that you are very much in your, into your school, because you have to be. Yes, sir. All right, you, have a, you got your mind together, I like that. <laughs> Young guy with a, with a good mind who's ready to, to attack the world when he gets <laughs> out of college. Avery, thanks for being here. No problem. We're going to take our final time out. Next, we'll answer our Howell Furniture trivia question and preview upcoming Lamar games. This is electricity. This is a power plant. This is Tim Barkholz. That's me. This is something he's researching at ExxonMobil, using fuel cells to capture carbon emissions at power plants. This is the potential. Reducing CO2 emissions by up to 90%, while also producing more power. This could be big. Energy lives here. Provost Humphrey has spent over 45 years fighting for those suffering from diseases caused by benzene and related chemicals. Today, we continue those efforts by representing workers in the oil, maritime, and shipping industries. Companies have known for decades that benzene exposure can cause leukemia, myelodysplastic syndrome, and other blood cancers. Our firm has the assets, resources, and knowledge to stand head-to-head -head with industry and get you answers and the justice you deserve. Provost Humphrey. Hard-working lawyers for hard-working people. Hey, Lamar basketball fans. How would you like a free car wash? When the Cardinals win this week, you also win. Bring your ticket stub from a winning game to Kinsel Toyota before the Cardinals' next home game 
and receive a free car wash. When the Cardinals win this week, you win a free car wash. From Kensal Toyota, a proud supporter of Lamar Basketball. Kensal Toyota and Lamar Basketball, a winning combination. Let's go Cardinals. Hi, I'm Susan McCurry. I'm Roger McCurry. And, and we, we love, love our Lamar, Lamar Cardinals. Cardinals. Show your support for the team this season. Come join the fun and find out what a great team we have. Lamar Basketball is the best ticket in town and the LU Spirit is fantastic. Go, go Cards! Cards. I'm Bob Worth, your district attorney and a Lamar graduate. Basketball and law enforcement have a lot in common. To have a winning basketball program, all players must work together. To have a safe and successful community, all citizens must work with law enforcement. If you witness a crime, report your facts immediately. If you receive a jury summons, don't look for a way out. Take the opportunity to serve. Let your voice be heard. Let's all work together for a safe Jefferson County. Coach, you ready to answer the Howell Furniture trivia question? I don't know about this one. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. It's a tough one. All right. The question is, what year did Lamar win its most games and how many? Okay. Yeah. Uh, drum roll. Drum I think roll, it's 1983, yes. 1983, 84 yeah. season. Okay. Yeah. And that's it? Uh, no, we've got to know I mean. I got to give you the record? Yeah. I can give it wow. to you if you want it. Yeah, I don't know the record, but right. I do know the year. Okay, there we 84. go. 26 and 5, Coach. Wow. If